Hello everyone, I'm going to do a spotlight on one of my grow out tanks. Uh, you see this fish swimming, the blue fish, that is a betta that my daughter rescued from a fish store. It was not doing well at all. It had major fin rot and was not eating. So I brought it home for my daughter and she was going to keep it in her room. But I really enjoyed after getting it healthy. And so it went into this tank and it's doing really well. So it's a male, I believe, Veltail. I don't know much about bettas, but it really pops in this tank because of the blue. And it kind of sits in that mid range to top range, which is perfect. Those Odessa barbs do come up. I did feed a little bit, so that's why they've dropped down a little bit. But the Odessa barb is one of the fastest fish in the hobby, I believe. It is impossible to catch when you need to net it. Uh, they, they are from Miramar. Uh, which is going through some problems right now, so we hope to have those fish in a hobby and breed those. I have bred them successfully and had about 300, 350 fry, and I'm down to about 50 or 60 in, in different tanks. I love them because they're a great dither fish, but they also spread the eggs around to feed the bottom fish, which is perfect. Uh, could breed those anytime, but the, the room could get overwhelmed by them, so I kind of hold back and just use them more as a dither. Now, the another, another fish from Miramar is the Pandagara. That is the striped sucker fish on the bottom. One of my favorite, favorite fish. Uh, I bought it because I was interested and intrigued, and now I am just in love with that fish. It has so much personality. They hang out together, and I believe their name should be the Clown Gara. Not because of their coloration, which would work, but their personality they are characters so I really love that fish and then I have the stir by Cory which one of my favorite Corydoras uh, these are the oldest in the tank they're growing out and they are almost ready to uh, go into a breeding tank so I'll pull two or three of those females put them in a 20 let them fatten up and then introduce the male and they'll probably be eggs in, the, in a day or so also there's the Venezuelan black Cory which is really cool, Cory. I have the Panda Cory. Panda Corys, those are my third generation Panda Corys. I've bred those pretty successfully, and they they tend to breed earlier than the other Corydoras. I'm not sure why, but they tend to get fry pretty quick. So, and what's nice about them is I've bred them in community tanks, and the little fry pop up in in the crevices. So they're pretty cool. Uh, also, I have some long fin. I believe they're green. I got those at a pet store. I was just intrigued by the long fin. I'm not a huge fan of the long fin, but these were pretty healthy looking, and I thought I'd give it a shot. And the reason why I don't like the long fin is because of bacterial issues and fungus with those fins. But as long as you keep the tank healthy. So there are about 47 fish in this tank, and I do a water change on it about 30% twice a week just to keep them healthy and growing out. Uh, I feed it pretty heavily because I'm trying to grow these fish out. So I have some uh, also some albino cory cats in there. Uh, they are well, I'm not sure what they are, but they're albino. I'm sure they're green or bronze or something like that. So I believe that might be it inside this tank as far as species. There might be something else, but there's a lot of fish in there, and really they're there to grow out and get healthy and get fat. So I just want to thank everybody for your subscriptions and I want to thank everybody for viewing my videos. I am blown away on how successful it's been. Still very small where we've just hit the 28 day mark but pretty excited to keep going and I just purchased um, about a thousand dollars in camera equipment so I can get better quality videos uh, because if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right and give you guys really good content. So I hope. If you haven't subscribed, I wish you would consider it. Um, I know there's plenty of options out there. Believe me, I watch tons of YouTube, so I get it. And I don't subscribe to every channel either. But if you could do that for me, I'd appreciate it. And give it a like. That helps me out. And any comments. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I will answer you back. So that's about it today. I just want to do a quick video of this tank. And these are going to be my... Sp I'm going to do some of these spotlight videos of tanks. I have about 35 tanks. And thanks for watching.